the jury hearing about the defense. Defense. They're not totally thinking about the evidence. With everything. I totally disagree with everything your guest just stated, Jane. But I do believe that these videos, they're very difficult to watch. But, I mean, I believe, if anything, they help Jody Arias's case because it's consistent. What her parents are testi or stating to the detective is consistent with La Violette's testimony in court, that she had a dysfunctional childhood, that she didn't have a good relationship with her parents. And that plays right into the defendant's self-defense argument. If everybody that, that had... Only, if, excuse me, I'd like to finish my statement that, you know, not only was she abused by Travis Alexander, but she also was abused by her parents. And that is why she had a reasonable fear for her life when she claims Travis Alexander lunged at her. And okay, Hita, quick there is zero, sure. There is zero evidence that Travis was physically abusive toward this woman. And you talk about the domestic violence expert. She is basing 90% of her testimony on the 40 hours of interviewing Jody, who is an admitted liar over and over and over again. Where does well, that leave the credibility of her I want to have she a somewhat reasoned expert. conversation here. And I want to focus in on the possibility that Jody Arias is bipolar. So, paperback. Uh, Anahita, so it got far for the defense. Is this uh, potentially unfair because everybody's talking about this case? I mean, I can't walk down the street without somebody yeah. saying, well, what about this woman? Exactly. I totally think the jury should have been sequestered. Not only is this a high-profile case, it's a death penalty case. You can't look anywhere without hearing about Jody Arias, without reading about it, watching it on television. So, yeah, whether you like her or not, Jody Arias is entitled to be, she's innocent until proven guilty. She's entitled to a fair trial. And that is being compromised because there's a possibility that jurors I can be tainted. I think the flip side of that is when you sequester a jury, you also, in many cases, lose a lot of jurors. They start to drop out. Because uh, this domestic violence expert for the defense pronounced Travis and Jody's relationship today as domestically abusive. But I want to debate it with our expert panel. Everything she's saying is based on what a pathological liar told her. She's taking everything Jody told her at face value. So I'll start with Anahita Sanagatvar for the defense. How on earth can she make a valid conclusion that Travis abused Jody based only on Jody's stories? Well, first, Jane, she has not just based her opinion on Jody's statements. She's reviewed tons of collateral evidence. And quite frankly, I think Alice LaViolette is the most effective witness the defense has called in this case because not only is she <laughs> knowledgeable and credible, but she is providing the answers those jurors wanted to hear about Jody Arias' bizarre behavior. Why she didn't report the abuse. Why she didn't seek a restraining order. Why she didn't record her abuse in her journal. This is all, all right. consistent with a victim of domestic idea, violence. And that's going to impact Murphy those is jurors. Giggling. Look, at, I, you know, I've it's met Alice. She's a lovely lady. She's, she's a lovely lady. I, I